Hey everybody, welcome back. So I decided to wear my mask today, partly to remind you to stay safe, um, given that the weather is starting to cool off and uh, we're gonna be spending more time indoors over the next few months. So, you know, when I said I wanted you all here in December, I meant not only that I wanted you to finish the class, but I also do want you to do so safely. So today's lesson is exciting. It's a chance to introduce some pretty cool material. Uh, tomorrow's lesson is gonna do the same thing. So the next two lessons are really on uh, some a couple of you know, really kind of unique and advanced topics in, in the Java programming language. Now, this is the end of what we're going to do with uh, really Java syntax and Java object-oriented features. Starting next week, we're going to transition into the third half of the class where our focus is going to be on data structures and algorithms, which itself is super fun, right? So part of me feels like every semester I spend half of the semester getting you to the point where we can actually start to do some cool stuff together, and that starts soon. But today and tomorrow, we're, we're uh, picking up some topics that the, the, it's not an accident that we're talking about this stuff, and you're going to see that soon. Uh, these are topics that uh, we're not going to test you on heavily on the quizzes, but you'll need to understand uh, when you start working on the project. So um, anonymous classes today, Lambda instructions tomorrow, pretty advanced Java stuff. We're starting to touch on some really new features of the language and some really exciting um, ideas in terms of how we write our code. Um, and so I hope you enjoy this stuff. Um, I'm really glad you're here. Uh, you're not alone. Uh, wear your mask. Uh, stay safe. Uh, take good care of each other and the people around you. Enjoy today's lesson. You know, uh, new stuff to wrap your mind around. Tomorrow's will be as well. These two are kind of a, a, a dyad too. They kind of work together. Um, tomorrow what we're going to do is look at some syntax that allows us to create certain types of anonymous classes more, more uh, conveniently. So uh, welcome back and I will see you at the bottom.